Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your mid-March tarot reading. I hope you're doing good. I hope the Pisces season served you well. It's not an easy energy to uh, <laughs> to get through, but every season is almost here and I'm really excited to do these readings. So, okay, Sag, make sure to subscribe and like the video. This is the best way to show your support. Let's see what is the energy supporting you right now, Sag. What is the energy supporting Sagittarius? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. So again, Aries season is, is like really powerful. It's a new beginning. It's the start of the zodiacal wheel. So it, in astrology, it's like a new year, okay? Really powerful seeing the Ace of Cups here. We also have the that card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like anytime I see the that card, I know there's a beginning. It's not the end ever for me. So it could be new love, a new opportunity. There's definitely a fresh energy here knocking at your door. You feel it and you embrace it. Let's see what the tarot has to say today for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I feel a lot of energy. A lot of fiery energy. We have the King of Pentacles. So there could definitely be some type of commitment happening in your life, either with a partner or at work. Your boss wanting you to get to the next level. People are supporting you. People know that you are the real deal. So with the King of Pentacles, there's stability. There's definitely... Um, chances for more money doors are opening it feels like you're on top of your game i really like that um if you're already seeing someone if you are in a committed relationship you could definitely be getting to the next level i really like seeing all this listen another ace we, we're just starting this reading and there's two aces here like sag this is definitely a good year for you. A lot happening, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of door opening for you. And the thing is that anyone could get, can get aces. Anyone can get a gift from the universe. Anyone could have people handing them something. But what are you going to do about it? That's the thing I like about you, Sagittarius, is like you never sit and wait. You're like, yeah, I'm going to make the best out of every opportunity. And this is definitely something I love about you guys. Ace of Wands, fiery new beginning. This is the biggest yes in the tarot. So, it's, so if you have a question in mind, if you've been looking for some type of sign, like am I going to get this job? Am I going to get more money? Is this person going to finally tell me how they feel? Like... The question you have in mind right now, this thing that you wish you could predict, the answer is yes. I swear the ace, you saw that, it flew out of the deck. I've never seen that. Like, what the hell is happening? Three aces? There's something important here because the king of pentacles is holding the pentacle just like that. You know, there's such an important symbolic to a hand in the tarot like hands holding something there's an exchange here there's like an opportunity and you taking that making the best out of it when i say that this is your year Saj, this is the year where you you're going to be exploring so many new things it feels exciting um it feels so cliche to say that your life is about to change but your life is definitely about to change if I see the Fort Ace coming out in this reading, I'm going to flip out, like in the best way. Sagittarius, tell me what is the deal with these new beginnings for Sag? Okay, we have the Strain card. So Strain card is Leo. It's a lot about the heart space. There's... Definitely something connecting you with another person. I don't know if you've been waiting to meet the one, if you've been, you know, praying, hoping that you're going to get married and have this big, beautiful, romantic love story in your life. Listen, honestly, I don't want to sugarcoat this, but I've, I've, I've never seen something quite like this. Um, 
this is your time with the strength card i feel like it screams you're ready the things that you love are in the first seat like in the front row of your life you are doing the things that you love you are led by passion and excitement it feels good it feels like someone is ready to be happy you definitely made the best out of any situation um strength what i love about this card the infinite loop on top of this person's head it's you know the connection you have with the divine and also it's a symbol of yes yeah, something that you're starting now could be forever okay um and i think you truly believe that you probably feel some type of exciting energy I said it before picking any cards, like I was shaky, I felt excited, and now I'm seeing all of this. I need to know what this is all about. Sage, what is this all about? We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so a little bit of balance here. So with the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this card brings so much medicine. Um we are able to really see how things outside of us, relationship, job, society, how we were raised, how it impacted us throughout our life and how some of it just don't work with us anymore. There's a lot of learning that comes with that energy. It's the card before the six of pentacles, you know, so it's it's really symbolic. Um how are you being influenced by the people around you, by the energy around you? How does it affect you? Um, I notice a lot in my life and in my practice that the Five of Pentacles would come in in moments of like intense joy. And anytime I would pick it, I'd be like, why? I feel like everything's good. I feel like this is a fabulous time. And you see with this reading, like there's fabulous energy here. And Five of Pentacles, like, um, take a deeper look. Take a deeper look at what influence you. Um, what are the things that make you happy? And what are the things that might affect you? I feel like this card comes out a lot when I'm dealing with someone who's an empath. Um, like letting other people's energy really affect us. And it can bring up a lot of uncomfortable feelings. There's so much medicine to the five of pentacles, guys. Uh, it's Taurus energy. It's a lot about your comfort. You could be asked to move, change position at work, do something really dramatic, like a huge dramatic change uh, fast. In my opinion, this is not a slow moving energy at all. Okay. It's how uncomfortable we can feel also with a big, big, big change happening, like getting more. Humans were not comfortable with receiving, usually. This is just how humans are. So receiving all these blessings, it can feel overwhelming. Um, we'll see when we clarify. This could be a lot of things, but I feel like <sighs> you're going to notice pretty fast who is on your side. Who wants you to thrive and who doesn't want you to thrive? We have the magician, another one. One, 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 one. Eleven, eleven. So we have the magician and the queen of cups. You're definitely uh, following your intuition when it comes to a big life decision right now. Definitely. I think that you are aware of how powerful you are how you can manifest the life that you want uh you could be writing a lot journaling a lot i feel like there's definitely some type of practice that you've been developing uh in the past year or so um we have two infinity loop here you see just with the five of pentacles here in the middle Again, outside external energy uh, trying to influence you in a negative way or just not in tune with your powerful vibe. It feels like you're slowly balancing yourself with the energy around you. There's going to be a major change of scenery in your life. 
And this is definitely what I'm feeling. Some people are not going to be happy that you're moving on. Some people are not going to be comfortable with the fact that you might leave them physically because you have to move on with your life and explore and, you know, open. You have to go through these experiences. There's definitely a lot of opportunities coming your way and it feels overwhelming. It's going to be a lot of things happening at the same time. And with the Queen of Cups, again, we have hands holding a cup. So many blessings coming your way. And you're going to make the best out of it. Saj, your life is about to change. Your life is about to change. You're leaving some type of cycle behind, some type of energy behind. You're moving on to the next chapter of your life. I don't know if some of you want to relocate, are thinking about relocating, traveling for work. It could be just energetically, you're completely moving from where you were. You're gonna be noticing like, I changed, I changed so much and I'm not the same person I was last year. You're supposed to change. Some people are not going to be happy. You're definitely going to have at least that one person who's like, you change, you change. I don't recognize you. And like, you're like, hell yeah, I change. Why do you make it sound negative? I'm definitely not the same person I was and I'm not the same person I was yesterday. You are learning from every experience. Every day you're planting seeds just by showing up, saying yes and taking risk. There was definitely a lot of times where you took risk in the last two years. And I feel like that made you stable for some reason. Um, this is such a powerful reading. You're definitely going through one of the biggest transformation. I don't know if butterflies are important to you, but I'm seeing like the butterfly getting out of the cocoon, you know? And when you think about it, when a butterfly is ready to come out, and I know this sounds super cliche, I don't care. <laughs> the butterfly is wet. It takes a little while for the butterfly to fly and thrive. You know, that's why the five of pentacle is here. You're going to learn as you go. You might make mistakes and things are not going to be all perfect on a straight line. But give yourself time. This is a new beginning. You're fresh. You're you're changed and you're like this 2.0 version of yourself. It seems like. Wow, I wish that was my reading. I wish that was my reading. So we have the hangman here. This is Pisces energy. We are ending Pisces season right now. Um, this is the rebel of the tarot. Someone who is not scared to put themselves in really uncomfortable situation to learn, grow. This is so connected to what I just said about the butterfly. It looks uncomfortable, you know, but this person is illuminated. They understand things. They have a clearer vision. They have a new perspective on the, themselves and the past and what they want for the future and their surrounding. There's such, a, there's like a deep symbolic here of it might look weird to other people it might be uncomfortable for you or for the people looking at you do all this at the end of the day you are doing things your way and you are patient much more than people give you credit for you're willing to plant the little seeds and to wait and work a lot on something to grow i feel like a lot of people say that Sagittarius is not a patient energy, but in my opinion, someone who works hard and push and never give up, like there's a lot of patience there. Um, I feel like you could have healed your relationship with that. You know, we have three water energy here. There's definitely something that you are healing, some type of truth some type of revelation that is coming up for you in the next two weeks. And I don't even think you know that right now. I think it's going to come in as a shock. Maybe when you're going to be journaling, meditating, having a serious conversation with someone, um, you're going to find out something really deep and meaningful about yourself. And I think that it's going to change everything for you. 
I don't know what it is. I'm excited. Let me, yeah, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely founding out like some deep truth. It could be about your ancestors, your family, but I think it's definitely about you and how the external impacted you. This is so special. Okay, let me start clarifying. I need to take a sip of water and a deep breath. This reading, like, I can feel the energy. I, I, I speak faster, louder. I'm, like, excited. Tell me more about Sag. This huge change. <sighs> okay, we have... Page of Cups, Chariot in the Reverse. This feels like some type of graduation, okay? And it doesn't have to be about school. I'm talking energetical graduation. This is my confirmation. You're maturing. You're, uh, I don't know if you celebrated this year. Uh, you're like an important birthday. There's some type of energetical graduation, getting to the next step of something really important in your life. It's like you're passing this really intense threshold right now. I don't know what it is. It's personal to you. Um, someone is free from the past. Someone healed the inner child. Someone faced a lot of, you know, inner child trauma or past life trauma. I don't know what you did. Because you definitely connected with deeper sides of your intuition. You know, the Queen of Cups is like the deepest, darkest parts of yourself. Like the things that you don't share with many people or, you know, maybe ever. There's this feeling of, I can finally understand that about myself. I get where I come from. I get like, why... I was taking decisions that way. Why this or that impacted me so much and blocked me. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling. Like something is unlocking. This is, I don't, I am completely speechless. It doesn't happen much, Saj. But in the past couple months, you've been leaving me kind of shocked. Your energy is just... You guys are something else. And I'm not saying that to kiss kiss your ass, you know? You're definitely some... We have another cup. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We have two Infinity Loop, which I connect with Eighth. And we have two Eights already, plus four Aces. And the Magician. Guys, this is magical beyond beliefs. So if the Ace of Cups is coming out again, there's definitely some type of emphasize here on new love a new romantic connection or just a new connection it's not everybody who's looking for love it's not everybody who you know is uh open to that and that's beautiful so to each their own i feel like there is either reconciliation or a new intense definitely magical connection happening in your life but with the Eight of Swords, uh, there could be doubts coming up. There could be some type of questioning, like, am I ready to open up? Do I want to commit? Uh, do I want to focus on work, focus on myself? Is this a good timing for me? Um, I do feel, again, if there's a new connection happening in your life, this is something real and Anything real feels scary. Anything that could be, again, forever um, is overwhelming. So there's this energy with the Eight of Swords of, okay, okay, um, I'm feeling all these things. My heart is telling me one thing. My brain is telling me one thing. I don't know what to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to let things come naturally. And I'm going to give myself a little break here. Uh, because, yeah, there's so much happening that it can be overwhelming. Don't drain yourself out and be extra kind to yourself. I think that right now, more than ever, it's time to really listen to you, what your heart, what your soul wants, and not let your brain or other people's uh, opinion of you or of your life change your trajectory. Like, this is so beautiful. 
that I feel, again, there could be people who are trying to mess with you. You're going to see who are the haters. Like, uh, I'm not saying you have haters, but I'm saying that there are people who are rooting for you and people who are not necessarily ex excited to see you thrive. This is going to become so clear. And it might bring up a lot of pain and a lot of frustration. And I feel like it's all part of you expanding, learning, and starting this new life of yours. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Hermit in the reverse. You're getting out there. This is some type of breakthrough. If you are an artist, if you in any way, shape, or form create art, use your words, your body, your hand, your looks, your voice to create some type of art. I feel like it's really important that I tell you that right now, uh, airy season could be incredibly impactful, like life changing for you. It's time to create. And you don't have to consider yourself an artist, but there's definitely something you have to create and offer the world. Um, a lot of opportunities coming your way. The energy is aligned. It feels again like you're going through a breakthrough. Um, I don't know if it's Leo who had this breakthrough energy. I think it is. You could definitely check Leo if you have Leo in your chart. Someone is about to make it big. Someone is about to be known and it's like, I think it, it will not only come with more money, more opportunity, but just infinite possibilities. And that's why there's already four aces on the table. Um, infinite possibilities for you and your success. But again, this is a breakthrough. This is someone who's been living life by their own rules there's definitely some type of artist energy here the hangman to me is you know the poet the artist um i always believed since i started doing tarot like so long ago that the hangman put himself in this position by choice uh when you are willing to be uncomfortable this is where you learn the most and this is where you um accomplish the most and if you're an artist in any way shape or form which i am so i get that it is not comfortable to create art put it out there and face a critique and whatever it is it's like it takes so much courage and it takes so much failures and like big wins and more failures and fucking up getting back up and I feel like this is so you right now. And this is water energy, you know? This is Neptune energy. There's something so mysterious about the energy that's aligned right now in your life. Um, you're definitely going to be noticing a lot of symbols, a lot of synchronicities from your guides, your angels, whatever you believe in. I think that it's all coming from you. And not only your hard work, but your power of manifesting things. Let me pick a message from the universe here. Again, I'm completely shocked by this reading. No jokes. I would never fake saying something like that. I'm just, you should see my face. I'm like, what is happening? And I keep hearing breakthrough, breakthrough. Someone is, someone is making it big. Okay, yeah. Ten of Pentacles, Judgment card. This is it. Look, look how many people. See all the peoples in that in that card. You're about to be known by the world, or I don't know, a big ass community. But there's a lot of people involved in your success. Success. Sorry, um, I'm losing my word. I'm lost for words right now. Something is completely changing about your life. Like, again, I feel like you've been creating this trajectory. You're just following your intuition, uh, following your gut feelings. A lot of time people told you no and you were like, I don't even want to hear that shit. Like, it, you push through judgment. You push through critiques and the haters and you win. 
you win, Sagittarius. Like, this is it. This is the moment where everything changed for you. This is not only a new beginning, but this is like one of the best, most exciting time of your life that is starting right now. And I'm so excited for you. Like, I'm so excited and I hope that you enjoy every moment. I'm not going to say get ready for it. You are. You've been ready your whole life for what's to come. And that's why it feels so good to me right now. Okay, Sag, thank you for being here with me, for always supporting me, your, your love, your likes, subscribe. You guys have been showing up for me in ways that I, I'll never thank you enough for. So thank you for being you and inspiring me with every reading. I can't wait to do the April follow-up of that reading. And I hope you are going to be tuned for that. Okay? Bye, Sag. Take care.